Today we'll be playing some Gran Turismo Sport and we'll be doing uh, the sport mode, which is basically online. And we'll be doing race speed since one make, everybody has the same car, it should be the most fair of all of them, right? And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a qualifying time trial. I need the car though. Um, gotta buy it real quick, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back with um, the car now. I got an orange because, you know, it's a nice color. Now time to set a qualifying time trial. See where we place on the starting grid. I haven't driven this car before, so I don't know exactly like how it's gonna go. But uh, Fuji Speedway shouldn't be that hard to figure out. It's got like really wide corners. All right, here we go. This car tends to uh, be really stable, I guess. Probably because um, it's front wheel drive. I honestly did not read the description when I bought this car. I guess I don't have to worry about like spinning out or something. Just understeer. I know the first corner is like really sharp, so I'm gonna have to maybe break early for this. Maybe I break a bit too early. Could have waited a bit. I gotta watch out for this corner, it's blind since like, there's no grass, it doesn't really tell you where it ends until you see the lines on the road. This car really likes to turn it, it's a really good handling car. Like since I've never even driven it before, I'm setting like, decent pace. I'm gonna break hard for this one, looks kinda sharp, nope, never mind, we're good. I thought it was like a 90 degree turn, but not exactly. Now that was pretty slow actually. Went way too wide. Whoa, okay. That actually, that corner what does not look like how it actually was. It looks smooth and then it ends up being like extremely sharp at the end. I mean, our time shouldn't be that bad. There's, I'm pretty sure there's like worse out there. Okay, 149. We have time for another lap, hoping that um we don't crash or anything. I'm gonna break a little bit later than my ghost. Yep, that's much better. I don't really have a goal for the next time, and just to uh, have any improvement. Gonna break hard for this corner. It looks kind of sharp. My ghost is catching up. I think I screwed up that corner. Never mind, we're good. You gotta watch out for the one that's coming up because I messed up real bad on that one. Okay, brake hard for this. Trying not to go into anything. Yeah, I'm still on track. While well, my ghost is just like going off. Yeah, that's definitely an improvement. You can see how much I'm pulling away from it right now. There we go, 148. Much better than last time. I only got 16 seconds left, so uh, I'm not even gonna try again. I'm just gonna wait until um, the matching begins. I wonder where I place. Oh, that I don't think I was that slow. It placed me basically last place. There's no point in qualifying. The other guy didn't even qualify, and like, that's about it. All right, here we go. Let's do some uh, warm up. Let's see how these guys drive. It's quite a long pit entrance. I mean, not not pit pit road. I'm gonna have to work like so hard just to like get any positions out of here. Yeah, got, that guy's catching up real quick. 
And there goes the warm up. Okay, my goal is basically to gain at least one position. It's not gonna be hard since I'm basically second to last place. And here we go, the race is starting. Let's see, there's one guy back there and everyone else up ahead. Already, we already, um, we got a guy who's, uh, stopping for no reason. I'm gonna try not to mess up the first corner and hope no one rams me. And nope, I get hit, that's great. And he shoves me off the road, isn't that amazing? I don't know if I can catch up to them or not actually. I went way too wide through there. At least it's like asphalt that I'm driving on, not sand. I only hope that like someone wrecks or something. There's, there's no one gonna get caught up after that. Yep. Finally. There's people around. I might actually catch up to them. If I could get the draft. I don't know what happened though. Probably spun each other out and got a penalty. Yep, that guy spun out too. Okay, so two people quit, so basically my goal is already accomplished. I'm going to get in a position no matter where I finish. But I'm going to try to at least catch up to these guys, see if we get any more. Time for some uh, strong braking so I don't overshoot this. Yep, there we go. I'm surprised no one hit that uh, pole over there yet. I don't know if I'm catching up to 12th place or not. Because uh, it, it doesn't really tell me if I'm getting closer. And I'm just understeering everywhere, so that's not good. I hit a 148, that's pretty good. But like, still nowhere close to fastest lap of like 143. Yeah, no way I'm going to get any more positions out of here. At least I'm like, getting good lap times and my street ratings going up. Okay, there we go, 13th place, you know. It's an improvement, but like... Kind of annoying that we get hit on like the first corner of the race. You know what? Let's actually do another race after this. Let's do the same one again. Actually, first let's um, let's see what I get from the daily racing thing. I hope it's something good. Let's see. I see a. A Copen, I see um F1 car, I, and I can't tell what the others are. And it gives me that car out of all of them. That's amazing. I love this. Out of any car it could have gave me, gave me that. Let's just uh do another race. First it'll set a, a better qualifying lap time. So the guys before were like getting a minute forty-five and my best were a minute forty-eight. So there's got to be somewhere I could go much quicker. Alright, now the timer starts. 
Maybe I should break later on the first corner. That should fix it. Um, maybe? Yep, that works. I guess. Let's see, sharp corner here and another sharp corner coming up. I really hate that actually. It just starts off smooth and it instantly becomes really sharp. I don't know if this actually could be an improvement or not. There's no ghost around, so I can't really tell if I'm going faster. Let's see, 145, 146, 147. I think that's the second faster. Let's go wide in the beginning, and then go in, and go out. Yep, that's way faster than last time. I actually have to take the racing line. Okay, go outside again. And go inside maybe, yep. I wonder how fast I'm going here, maybe I could get even a 146. Go outside, inside. See, on the next corner, I don't know if I should go outside or not. Because then it becomes really sharp and that's not good. So I'm just going to go in deep. I guess that works. Yeah, that's much better on the final corner. I just noticed that like I went way too wide through the first time. 146. Uh, you know what? Let's do one more lap. Let's- if I don't mess up here, then it should be good. Yeah, no, no way I'm catching up. That's enough for now. Let's just wait until the race starts. And, uh, here we go. Let's just, uh, wait for another five minutes. I- I wasn't paying attention. And I'll be right back. Okay, 20 seconds basically until it starts. Uh, I hope I get a good position this time. Like 146 seems like a much better improvement. Three sec, no, two seconds. Joining session and I qualified 12. I beat one person. That's already, I guess that's good enough for me. Everybody's getting like 141s and like stuff like that. And me and this. The 13th place guy got 146. You know, at least this time, I know it wasn't useless to qualify. Uh, yeah, let's do some warm-up to see how these guys drive. Okay, that was not what I meant to do. I meant to go on the outside first. But you know what, I'm still up ahead, so I guess that's good. These guys seem pretty clean. He's gonna go on the inside. I obviously can't block there. Unless maybe I can. I don't know. He seemed like he had a good run, but he just disappeared. You can see me like flashing my lights back there. I love that. Should start any second now. I'm gonna stay on the outside for the first corner. That way I can avoid anything that happens. Because no one's gonna like, like dive bomb the outside. These guys are already like, getting a draft so quickly. Is he gonna make the pass? I guess he is. Yeah, I can't go on the outside anymore, he's up there. Whoa, he basically just like, went in full speed, I'm surprised. Like, we're all like, S um, street rating. But this guy just like, flew in there. Let's see, can I make the position back? Yes, I can. Can't seem to catch these guys in the corner though. But they are all the way back there, I don't have to worry about defending my position that much. Let's see what happens. Go break there. 
they'll bump into each other a bit. I'm hoping something happens, so I don't really have to worry about overtaking that much. They're lagging quite a bit, actually. Let's see what happens here. They gotta run wide. Yep, one guy runs wide. But I do the same thing, so that's like not really that good. He puts the block, and yep, that's a pass. A little dirty pass, but um, you know, I I gotta do what I gotta do. As long as it's not like basically, like slamming into someone, I, I guess that's pretty good. I'm gonna break on the outside again. And he bumps me back all the way. You know what, that was kind of deserved since um, I did the same thing. Just gonna block off the inside. Whoa, we got a spin. Good thing we all avoided that. This guy's lacking like so much, his, con like, his connection bar is like on red. I don't want to be around him because he might lag and something's gonna happen. Yep, he just goes full speed through the corner. Never mind. I guess that's what lag makes you look like you're doing, just like not even breaking. Yep, that's a pass. At least that was clean, okay? Compared to the last one I did. Just got like two more laps to go. He's got the draft, there's no way I'm going to defend this position. He doesn't seem to have that much of a run though. If anything, I could just stay here and I'm already gaining like at least two positions. I should have shifted up there. I might have actually gotten the position back. Like, it's kind of hard to like focus on transmission when you're already focusing on like trying to get the overtake. But I'm not gonna set it to automatic because um, you know, sometimes it saves you when you downshift real quick when you're going way too fast around the corner. I don't know what the term for that is. It's gotta be a, like some scientific term. Yep, and I run wide through there. Whoa, that's not good. I lost the position there. Because I was too busy messing around. I'm gonna get back though. Just need the draft. And if this guy would stop lagging, of course. It seems I'm getting closer, but at the same time, like, I'm not. See, am I getting the position or not? It just, like, it just lags everywhere. But that guy's all the way back there, I don't know what he's doing. Let's see, I have a feeling that's not good. That's a penalty, isn't it? I just blew by that corner. Yep, 5.5 5 second penalty. See, I, I, I really hate like how much he's lagging. It's just making me worried like, if I'm gonna bump into him or not. Yeah, not like he's gonna catch up anyways with that 0.5 seconds. At least I defended my position. I think I started like 13 for 12. I don't know if I gained the position or not. Yeah, I didn't gain any positions, but at least I didn't lose any. That was a much better race than the first one. Uh, but that's enough for today, so uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.